What's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, 2700, man, and we back with another one again, man. And today, man, we got Shelby County, Tennessee, man, former Deputy Officer Brian Beck avoids prison time after raping a 14 year old girl so like i had to, when i when i seen that i'm like oh man i gotta see this video so man let's get in the video man i'm not gonna even hold y'all up because i, I want to see this shit and let's see what's actually going on you feel me so let's ride now a grand jury has indicted a Shelby County Sheriff's deputy for rape of a teenage girl. Mm. Investigators say Deputy Brian Beck raped a 14-year-old girl multiple times during a 20-month period. Be Hold on, 20-month period, Deputy Brian O. Beck. I have to, I have to keep, keep up, man, while we're going, because this shit is crazy. Beginning back in May 2016. Beck faces two counts of rape by force and two counts of sexual battery by an authority figure. Mm. WMC Action News 5's Jessica Holly is live with the latest on this investigation. Jessica. We have learned that Brian Beck has been relieved of duty tonight without pay. Now the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is conducting the, their own internal investigation. Hold on back there. In 2015, we rode along with Shelby County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Beck as he showed off GPS tracking stickers, putting a stop to appliance thefts. We've had about a 98% arrest rate using the technology. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, he, he looked he look kind of weird to me. This is 2015 right here. They saying they rode around with him in 2015, putting up GPS. That's already suspicious to me. I mean... Thursday, his Germantown neighbors were left speechless when we told them about the grand jury indictments accusing the sheriff's deputy of multiple counts of rape and sexual battery by an authority figure. That doesn't sound like the bow you know. No. I'm shocked. Court documents lay out the details alleging the crimes happened over nearly two years between May of no gap, bro. She kind of look like she know, look like she know a little something. So she might be, she look like one of <coughs> the people hiding the kids in their basement and shit. 2016 and January 2018. <laughs> Investigators say the girl was 14 years old when the sexual activity began. Beck used force and coercion, according to the indictment. You see him riding the, uh, cutting the lawn with his little boy in his lap. Seems to be perfect father, you know. According to the Shelby County Shelby District Shelby. Attorney General's office, Beck joined the Sheriff's Department in 2004. The DA's office said Beck was not on duty when the alleged incidents occurred. We stomped by his home, but no one came. You know, they don't never answer. Nigga, you about to say don't, nobody answer. They don't never answer. When, is, when do they ever answer the phone? Nigga, these motherfucking weird ass people came to the door now a man who once put criminals behind bars finds himself on the other side of the badge accused of sex crimes with a minor beck made his first court appearance this morning before a judge his bond set at ninety thousand dollars this afternoon he is bonded out reporting live from the shelby county jail jessica holly wmc action news five so listen y'all To be honest, if you're looking at it, look, I got ashes on me and shit. Excuse me, y'all. This is how you know I be smoking. No, no, that's cotton. That ain't no ashes, my bad. Outside working <clears throat> on the car. But listen, man, this is real talk. 2015, y'all riding around with this man. He doing GPS, all this door to door, this thing third. And then in 2016, he back though. And he's raping on a little girl repeatedly from 2016 all the way to 2018. Like, come on, man. That sounds like to me he was out there, you know what I'm saying, setting his prey up. Why he working? You know what I'm saying? Excuse my phone going off. Put that on vibrate anyway. But, man, I further checked into it <clears throat> and seen the update on it. Because these people just put this story out in 2022. You know what I'm saying? This year, I'm just now seeing this story. So, and this happened way back then. So, tell me why these media places is just now putting shit out like that and they be covering up. I personally think it's somebody in the system or in a system locally. You know what I'm saying? That got, that got something to do with this. You know what I'm saying? Or covering it up. Help covering up, man. These people be knowing each other, man. Dennis, Tennessee is part of the South, too. So, it don't surprise you. But nowadays, you getting stuff that's happening that ain't even... These people are 
it's not in the south no more they everywhere <clears throat> so that's what you get nowadays but let's get in the video man and see continue and see what's going on man All right. who repeatedly raped a 14 year old child mm. the judge lets him go home oh he went hold he on he does not have so there go the update right there <clears throat> they let him go home y'all let's Man, I need a light over that. They let him go home. That, that that's crazy. Let's hold on. Let's let's see what he's talking about. The register as a sex offender, he gets no jail time. Let's put up a picture of the cop. Now I'm about to give you. Did did they just say he don't have to register as a sex offender? Hold on. Let me go back. Hold on. I gotta hear that. Offender, he gets no jail time. Let's put up a. The judge lets him go home. He does not have to register as a sex offender. He gets. Y'all heard it right there now. Hold on, hold on. I had, I had to cut the, I had to cut the tape real quick because that shit crazy. Hold on. You telling me? You telling me this nigga just raped a girl? Not, not just one time, but repeatedly, fourteen months. Nigga, not only do y'all motherfuckers let this nigga out of jail, nigga, y'all let this nigga basically almost scot free on probation, and he don't have to register as a sex offender, nigga. That, didn't need this, bro. I got, I got a home, I got a homeboy I grew up with right now, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he did that shit. He did some shit to some a little girl, and they gonna put his name out here, but. You know, everybody that I know that grew up with this guy, we was all shocked. But the time they gave him, life. What the oh, hell you mean, like that? That's with little kids. You know what I'm saying? What is true? Here, this man, this shit is true, and y'all let this man go. This, I got people that went to jail for a little, a little five second lead. We ain't see them in. Five years, three years at least, minimum. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, 2015, he going around passing out GPS tags and stuff like that. You passing out GPS tags and for the security, man, I feel like you was prank make, setting out on your prey right then. You could have been looking for your prey. You know what I'm saying? And then you go back, though. That stuff's crazy to me. Y'all. That, this is who y'all got in your neighborhood, man. Who y'all backing up? But come on, man. Let's let's get in the bill. This this shit crazy. This is wild. There's no jail time. Let's put up a picture of the no cop. jail time. Now I'm about to give you mm. cause and effect of a cop, a judge, a DA who conspired against this 14 year old child who everyone agrees is the victim. See that guy? After striking a plea deal with prosecutors, a one-time Tennessee Sheriff's deputy who was accused of repeatedly raping a 14-year-old girl over a period of 20 months mm. was served no time in prison and does not have to register as a sex <laughs> Said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait. First of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna cap. That's a hell of a plea deal. I listen, nigga. Anybody gonna take that plea deal? The fact that I ain't never heard nobody getting a plea deal like that. That's the crazy part. I mean, I can't even be mad at the officer. For taking the plea deal. Because the nigga in his situation, shit, I would have took the motherfucker. I would have took the motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? You out there doing some crazy shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But my thing is, who is the DA? Who is the judge? Y'all are some sick ass people. Who Who is the people that's electing these people in office? You know what I'm saying? Who are voting for these people? Everybody in that town, man. If y'all... Y'all don't say nothing to get this man back up. That whole town is sick. The lady that they interviewed at the beginning, you sick too. You probably wanted the motherfuckers to help the nigga get out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a hundred.
You know, that's what we do right here on this channel, man. So, man, y'all don't like it, man. Y'all go somewhere else. But, man, let's continue this video because this is some bullshit. Straight up. Fender. His name, put his picture up again. There you go. His name is Brian O. Beck. Deputy Beck is 47 years of age. He pleaded guilty to a single count of aggravated assault on Monday, according to court records. There you go. He pleaded guilty, he said, because you know what I'm saying? To a count of aggravated assault on Monday, according to court records. That's what they said, filed in Shelby count. So he pled guilty. They know he guilty. You plead guilty to, to basically raping a little 14 year old for 20 months, cuz, and you don't got no sex offender charge? Out in Shelby County Court. That plea deal was part of an arrangement between Beck and the prosecutors. Bullshit. A member of the Shelby County DA's office confirmed to law and crime publication. So you have the cop, right? Now you have the district uh, district attorney. You have right. the DA. What I was Let's saying. put up a picture of the DA. Damn. That's the person who's in charge of prosecuting crimes in Shelby County. That's your DA. Her name is Amy Werrick. Amy has a background of her own. A Harvard Law School project hmm. ranked Shelby County District Amy Attorney Werrick. Amy Werrick. Where as the where highest in Tennessee for prosecutorial the, misconduct the in a study released not too long ago. Let's put a picture up again. That's crazy. That DA has been ranked by Harvard Law School as basically the most corrupt DA in the United States of America. That's the DA. Mm. That's the person in charge of the office who signed off on a deal to allow a child molester who's a mm -hmm. former cop to see no jail time and receive absolutely no penalty mm. and does not have to register as a sex offender. But the office did say he must complete 150 hours of community service. Uh, who what? in the hell wants him doing community service around their community? Heck no, nah. listen, man, that's the end of the video, y'all. But listen, like, like I say, man, y'all seen it for yourself. You got all this stuff going on, man. Like this officer back in two way back in 2015, man, putting putting out security for his people for the uh the neighborhoods and stuff. Then next year, the following year, he touching and raping on a little girl, man, that's that's uh, 14 years old. All the way up until 2018 when she turned 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about that. You know, and that's 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 just 2018. Then when 2020, when the pandemic happened, this little girl just now, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Just turning 18. Now the little girl is about to be 20, if not 20 this year, because it's 2022. And they, the story is just not getting out. That's 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 crazy. Man, that's it's sad. And and on top of that, for y'all to have the officer to not have no no jail time. He don't have to register as a sex offender. Like, really? Like, nah, somebody got to do some shit about that. Because this shit, straight bullshit, the whole system of straight bullshit, everybody got to go down. And when I say everybody, everybody go down. The DA, the, 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 the judge, you know what I'm saying? Whoever voted the whole town. Yeah, it's like the whole town. Y'all whole town had to want the man out. You would have seen, I would have thought the whole town would have been like, oh, no, this is some crazy stuff. Like, what's going on? Like, what's really going on? I wonder if the parent of the kids had to move out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that, that's all I got to say on it. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want to get too in depth. But definitely we'll be checking out some more updates, man. If y'all got videos like this, man, or y'all got news like this that need to be reported, hit me up, man. Send me the links. DM me on my Instagram, man. The link is in the description. It will be down below, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe on these videos, man. And keep showing the love and support, man. I appreciate y'all, man, for rocking with me, man. I'm gone. You gon' make me pull my